Hey iPhone agents, what the heck are they and why should you care? Stick around because I'm going to explain you everything you need to know in just a couple of minutes. Picture this, you call a company and instead of dealing with a frustrating hold menu or a human who might having a bad day, you talk to an AI that sounds almost as human and listens better than your husband or wife. That my friends is an AI phone agent. But how does that actually work? Let's assume you're calling a phone number. While you're waiting for the call to start, the phone number communicates with a cloud communications platform such as Twilio or Vonage or directly with a zip trunk. For this example, let's use Twilio. Imagine this like a marketplace that provides phone numbers so that you can purchase them whenever you want to send SMS, receive calls or do outbound calls. The platform now informs an AI phone infrastructure provider like Vapi AI or Blend AI that there is someone calling the phone number. For the sake of this example, we are using Vapi, which is now receiving an inbound call. Vapi acts as an orchestration layer that combines multiple tools to simulate what you experience as a phone call. It does that by using a telephony application server, which provides the infrastructure for the call to handle all of the communication between you and the AI model. It then uses your voice input and transcribes it to text via another software tool such as Deepgram. It then takes the transcript text, enriches it with further information and feeds it directly into the brain of your AI assistant, which is the LLM or large language model. In most cases, this is OpenAI, but there are tons of others such as Anthropic, Grok or Perplexity. AI. This LLM then interprets the transcribed text input, which in return gives you an answer based on whatever it deems relevant. This is what you see whenever you ask ChatGPT something and you get a hopefully meaningful response. Now, once the LLM starts answering, Vapi takes that info and runs it through a voice synthesizer, which is another service offered by platforms such as 11labs or Microsoft Azure. This will turn the text into spoken language, which is then returned back to Vapi, and Vapi tunnels that information back to Twilio as an audio stream, which Twilio then plays back to your phone like a song you listen on Spotify. What's most fascinating is that all of this happens in the fraction of a second while it gives you the illusion of you having an actual phone call with an actual human being. There are a lot of more steps involved, such as public switch telephone networks and Twilio markup language. But with the current info, you should at least get a feeling of how it works. Now, if none of that makes sense to you, trust me, you're not alone. I've added a drawing that Vapi created to understand the infrastructure better. So whenever you feel excited to read about AI instead of spending time on other meaningful tasks, this is a good place to start. In the end, an AI phone assistant is nothing else than a handful of tools connected in a smart way to give the impression of you talking to an actual person. We are still super early in that game and improvements are seen on a daily basis. The AI that sounds great a couple of months ago is already replaced by a version that can even interpret emotions and respond accordingly. So at this point in time, you should at least know what voice AI actually is. But one thing is still missing. What can we actually do with it? I could hit you now with tons of general use cases and how you can leverage it to call your relatives for canceling family gatherings because you got stuck in an important business meeting while you actually just watch YouTube videos all day. Let's instead look at what we already built inside of our agency and how we helped our clients to make a bigger impact with voice AI. So in the past weeks, we finalized an outbound agent that is triggered whenever a new lead in Facebook comes in. The voice assistant is then able to call that lead and ask it a bunch of questions to see if he or she is qualified for the offer. So if that person is qualified, we move forward by dynamically scheduling a meeting with a potential client so that an actual sales agent can take over. In case the lead did not pick up, we do have mechanisms in place to recall after a certain amount of time. Now let's translate that into numbers. Let's assume each lead form submission causes a phone call with an average duration of 5 minutes. If the company gets 500 of those submissions every single day, that would be a total of 2,500 minutes, which is more than 40 hours every day. With a salary of around $20 an hour for an appointment setter, and them actually being efficient for at least half of the time, so basically 4 hours, this translates to an actual of 10 appointment setters that work 8 hours a day. Based on their $20 an hour salary, this accumulates to a total of $1,600 per day for 10 persons or $32,000 a month. Having an AI in place that takes over the work of the traditional appointment setter, we only need to calculate the time the AI actually spends on a call. Given the different integrations and tools you use, we can expect the minute to cost roughly 30 cents. Based on 2,500 minutes, this will translate to a total of $750 per day. So implementing that kind of AI not only saves you an extra $850 every single day, but it also removes the need to manage extra employees that you would not need if you use that AI itself, right? While this sounds great, there's one more thing I need to mention. Is the AI actually as good as a real human being? The answer is it depends. Certainly, we are not at a level where things are as fluent as with a human, but we do have a great ROI on the clients we implemented our solutions with. What we noticed so far is that the biggest impact actually isn't the AI itself, but it's the marketing methods that client uses. If they, for example, purchase a lead list from the web, we usually see a lower conversion rate compared to the effective
effective marketing done via ads. So in case that was too much to process, let's quickly recap everything so that you have a bigger picture of it. An AI voice agent is a set of online tools combined to give you the illusion of talking to an actual human being. It can be implemented in a great variety of businesses. The ROI depends on various factors before the AI actually kicks in, such as the methods of marketing and the quality of leads. The voice AI space evolves daily and new features make each agent even more efficient. Implementing voice AI solutions into your business has the potential to drastically reduce the costs while providing scalability to your business. So if you find this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you can give it a like and in case you feel intrigued to get started with voice AI yourself, you're most welcome to reach out to us for a free assessment of your business. Oh, and in case you have any questions, the comment section is yours. See you soon.